السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I wish you a happy and prosperous day today like every day in the year for you where actually you will be happy helping, happy living, happy supporting, happy working, happy, 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 happy. We are in the happy mood today. Today we will be talking about uh, measurable principles. In the good old days, after the Second World War, the humanitarian family started to discuss seriously some principles to help and to protect the victims of war, the victims of displacement, the victims of becoming refugees, to protect them. And they called it humanitarian principles. Humanitarian principles discussed widely globally by many, many organizations and the United Nations endorsed them in the General Assembly in 1991, then 2004, to put the four major principles. Then the family of Red Cross, Red Crescent, which is ICRC, IFRC, and others, have actually managed to add three. So, as you can see them nowadays, humanity, insania, impartiality, neutrality, uh, humanity, impartiality, neutrality, independence, voluntary service, unity, and universality. These seven humanitarian principles are the parameters of our humanitarian response, especially at the time of conflict, armed conflicts between different war factions. You have to be neutral, you have to be impartial, you have to be humane, you have to be independent. These four principles will have been endorsed in the General Assembly of the United Nations between 1991 and 2004. Then the Red Cross added to it voluntary service, unity, and universality. Okay? Next, please. Uh, might, uh, measurable principles. Uh, a, a young man, a friend of mine, doing his master in conflict in the institute in Doha. His name is Omar Gamal, and he called me one day when he was actually discussing the Hematian principles as a part of his package of the syllabus. And he told me that uh, we did not contribute globally to the Hematian field. Why don't we have principles that we can actually create and talk about it? This was about uh, uh, six, eight weeks ago, and that's why I called it measurable principles. And me, in, in my definition, the new definition, which I'm uh, discussing it today with all of you, uh, to let me to understand what I'm talking about, is measurable principles are the, measure, are the principles that measures, measures what? The process of community building. Humanitarian principles as we mentioned it before, mainly focus on humanitarian response. But what I'm talking today about, community building. Community building while we are facing these humanitarian disasters. Whether it's a conflict or a man-made disasters or is a, a natural disaster. Next, please. This is our duty now. Our duty is to adopt new principles to be added to the seven humanitarian principles. What are the new principles that we are adopting nowadays? Next, please. Eleven principles, bottom up. Localization, equivalence, equality as two, benefits, three, ownership, Four, rights, five, leadership, six, empowerment, seven, investment, eight, peace, nine, safety, ten, diplomacy, eleven. It goes from localization at the bottom of the pyramid into diplomacy at the top of the pyramid, at the peak of the pyramid. Next, please. As you can see, the pyramid here. The lower one, the basic foundation of this whole pyramid is localization. Why I'm saying localization? Localization 
is the bedrock of building any society, whether it is during conflict, during natural disasters, or after. During peace and post-peace era. If I go to, if I'm going to divide the budget of these 11 principles, I will give at least 30 to 40 percent, 30 to 40 percent, not minimum that 30 percent, and maybe more than 40 percent to localization. You know why? Because localization means the rest, means leadership, means cohesion, means equality, means community building, means, 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 means. means. If we don't Invest in localization, we might, will not be able to reach peace. What we see nowadays over the last 40 or 50 or 60 or 70 years, what I call and what I have been calling it uh, a year or two ago is humanitarian colonialism from humanitarian family, from humanitarian organization, from the culture of the donor countries and donor agencies. By localization, will be able to minimize or remove such humanitarian colonialism. Because everything is local. Everything is in our society, in our community. But we do not invest in local community. And we come to them as Arab organization, Muslim organization, Western organization from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west. Well, no matter what our culture and religion is and impose our humanitarian colonialism in our culture that we impose on them, in our values that we are imposing on them, in our conditioned funding that we impose on them. Localization could be the answer for this, and localization became one of the outcome, one of the very important outcome of the World Humanitarian Summit in Istanbul last year. Second point, equality and equivalence. We are all equal. No black, white, short, long, uh, yellow, brown, uh, Muslim, non-Muslim, no way. Each citizen has the same right like his or her fellow citizen. Benefits, benefits of the society, not benefit of your political group, not benefit of yourself, personal benefit, not benefit of your political party or your religious group or your clan, no way. Benefit to be addressed to the society or the country. Ownership. Ownership, who is owning the country? Who is owning our, 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 our society? Is every citizen has got a part ownership of our country and of our society. Every citizen. Every citizen is owning it. Once the ownership level of the individual citizen to society is on the rise, loyalty and perseverance of him and her will be there on the table to defend their country by their souls, by their thoughts, by their even blood to defend and die for their own country. If they know that the country belongs to them, if they know that the society belongs to them, if they know that actually the organization or even the institution belongs to them. Rights. We have to put the rights of the right, the, the right of the people equal. We have to identify the rights of every citizen. Okay, then leadership will develop and emerge afterwards. And once the leadership emerges, okay, after these five or six steps, we have to empower it. What do you mean by empowering le le the empowerment of leadership? Is to give them the space and make them accountable to established institutions, which include the institution of the citizen himself or herself. Then let them to be leading the citizens and the community and the ordering. It goes both ways. Accountability from both sides. Uh, uh, liberty and space from both sides to be able to establish the empowerment. Empowerment is not one-way system. It's both-way system. It's not an order from the leader or the president or the prime minister to the, to the citizen, but it is this as well as listening to every individual citizen through 
the established institution of the state. Uh, then after that, once we empower the leadership, we, we, we invest in building the community. We invest in strengthening the localization. We invest in actually uh, 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 de developing every citizen in the, in, in the society. And after that, after one of this heavy investment, we have, we'll, we'll see the fruits of peace and safety, which will be uh, its icing on the cake or the cherry on the cake on the top, which is diplomacy. Diplomacy is the soft power for everything that we are doing. So we have to fine tune our action where, it's, where, the, where, the, where, where it is social or political or economical or educational or whatever you call it, by diplomacy. Diplomacy is the fine-tuning of all the process of community building. This pyramid should be protected and surrounded by freedom, knowledge, awareness, realization, values, vision, message, mission, trust, uh, real, uh, respect, and uh, recognition. So if we want this pyramid, to be standing on its feet like this, we have to protect it. Next, please. If we take a cross section of the, this, what I said before, you found the outer layer of the cross section here, which is the freedom. The more freedom you give to the citizen, the more strength, your, the, more, the stronger uh, your society become. And second inner layer uh, to it, it is what I said before, it is knowledge, it is awareness, realization, and uh, these three, knowledge, uh, uh, realization, and awareness. The inner layer, which should be made of uh, uh, vision, uh, uh, values, uh, respect, uh, recognition, uh, trust, uh, mission, and message, to protect the jewel in the middle which you call it the measurable or the measured principles. Next, please. If we talk about a measured, the, the, the measurable principles as an idea, this is the idea. See this triangle. This triangle is the idea. Idea has to have a structure. Complicated structure. It's not just a pyramid. Because idea is thought-driven mechanism that enables the society to develop itself, that enables the society or the pioneers in the society to develop their ideas to the second level and the third level and the fourth level. Don't ever look at idea as just a flat pyramid or a flat circle. It is very complicated. I gave the example yesterday in Arabic, like actually... Uh, the sperm and the ovum. When they meet in the womb of the mother, they have to be protected by the womb, by the climate inside the womb, and they have to be divided, making the uh, embryo. Cells is dividing, cells are dividing, cells are dividing. To what? To develop the fantastic structured organs of the body that nobody can create any one like that, the liver, the spleen, the heart, the eyes, the skin, the hair, the bones, the blood. All this came from the structured cell, which built the structured embryo to make the structured human being. So your idea is like the embryo. Next, please. And how to protect our, uh, uh, our measurable principle by layers, walls, and climate. Layers, walls, and the climate. Next, please. Can we, what is the text before that? This one before that. Layers, what, what do you mean by layers? Layers is like the, uh, uh, see, this is, uh, when we look at, uh, the, this is the idea, okay, of the measurable principles, and these are the layers. These layers surrounding the idea will be like what we wear to cover our body, our underwear. Nobody can see them, but it protects us. What are these seven layers that we have 
to cover our body. Next, please. See, it is the layers are like eh, the underwear that we wear, not seen by others, but can protect us. Who are they? The values, message, vision, mission, respect, recognition, and trust. These are the seven layers that we need them to have in our moral system. Say it again, again. Values, message, vision, mission, respect, recognition, and trust. So the first protection is the seven layers. Next, please. The second one, we have to build walls around the measurable principles. These are the walls. This is a rounded circle or cross a circle, which is in, in, in this color, which is the black, and with all, as well as the uh, build, uh, violet color. Okay. Like walls. What the walls are doing? These are the barriers. The walls are the barriers that surround the measurable principles and make it impossible for society's enemy to overcome, destroy, or remove them. Say that about the walls again. They are the barriers that surround the measurable principles and make it impossible for society's enemies to overcome, destroy, or overcome, or, or remove them. What are the seven walls are? Look at them. Education, understanding, knowledge, awareness, realization, ideology, and culture. If we don't educate a nation, anybody can lead them because leading ignorant group is far more easier than having a cup of tea after five o'clock. Education, understanding, knowledge, awareness, realization, ideology and culture and these are the walls to prevent any enemies of our society to cross to destroy our measured measurable principles the third group are the the climate look at this the idea is in the middle here okay in green and the walls are those violet one okay and the climate is the yellowish one or the canary colors with, the, with black dots and the other. This climate surrounding the idea, surrounding the uh, walls will be able to produce new fruits that, new social fruit or societal fruit that the community needs it. What are the seven climates? Are Next please. What are the climate? A climate that allow the growth of diverse fruit trees to bear different fruits at different seasons that society needs. This allows the climate dimension allow the growth of diverse fruit trees to bear different fruits at different seasons that society needs. Also, they discover the society's treasures. Grow and develop them, or their assets. What are these seven points? Freedom, communication, coordination, complementarity, partnership, coalition, and development. Say them again. The climates are freedom, communication, coordination, complementarity, partnership, coalition, and independence. When you look at these 21 points in the layers, the walls and the climate will be able definitely to defend our measurable principles. We just don't throw measurable principles as a talk and leave it alone. Building community is more important, more important, more important than actually removing mountains from earth, from the roots of the mountain. Next, please. Look at this complicated picture of our society, which has everything, has the climate, has uh, 11 principles, has the uh, uh, walls, has uh, layers, and it's going on. Building community is not easy. It's not a mere luck. Luck, you are, a, you, are, you, are, you are in Arsenal, or I think tomorrow's Arsenal and uh, Liverpool. It's not just, uh, uh, you're going, no, I'm not going to win tomorrow. Just because the, 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 the football will hit 
your, your, your head or your feet. No, you have to work very hard to get the score right for your team, whether Liverpool will win or Arsenal will win or Manchester United will win or Manchester City will win or Real Madrid will win or Barcelona will win. You have to have this complicated structure management system inside the team to manage every individual, to manage the spectators, to manage the time, actually, even to manage the referee itself, himself. Sorry. Next one. Let us look at the last slide that we have today. How can we build these measurable principles? If we divide the 11 principles into how many stages? One, two, three, four. Then we go to five, six, and you can group out. The first stage called a foundation stage. The first stage is called a foundation stage. Foundation stage will have localization, equivalence and equality, and benefits. And this will be going parallel in the first three years. To work on one strand on localization, second strand parallel onto equality and the equivalence, th third strand on the benefits. To try to educate the community members on what do we mean by building this huge structured process to build our community, our society, our nation, our country. In the second three years, which here, there will be an overlap between ownership from the first stage and rights establishment from the second stage. The second stage would be organization. How can we organize our society? So in the second three years, so we have to work on ownership. Ownership and this to be complemented parallel in the two strands by the rights of people. Okay? In the second stage, uh, phase, which is or stage, which you call it organization, the second three years, which is year nine, will create and discover and develop our leadership. So the first three years is for localization, equality, and the equivalence and the benefits, in the foundation, in the organization stage, in the first three years will have the rights, ownership, the second three years will have leadership, the third three years will have empowerment and the investment. At the end of the second stage organization and at the beginning of the third stage is construction of the society. So now we move to the third stage which is construction, bina, which goes from investment to peace to safety. Investment, peace and safety. First three years, we mentioned them here, localization, equality, uh, benefits. Second three years, rights and ownership. Third three years, leadership. Fourth uh, three years, which is investment and uh, empowerment. Fifth is to build peace, actually, which is another cream, creamy layer on the top of the structure, actually. Then after that, in the one, two, three, four, five, six, in the sixth, uh, three years we have safety from the third stage and diplomacy from the uh, fourth stage. Because diplomacy will come here at the top after we go through all this. We go all this grassroots work. It is, it is, it, it is, it is a strive to build the structure or the foundation, the organize the foundation, the construction, and then to innovate by putting the diplomacy. In the innovation stage, which is stage number four, we have two things. We talk about diplomacy, it's very innovative. And the second, the philosophy of thinking in the second three years and third three years of this stage is what's next. What's next, uh, my friends, brothers and sisters, senior and junior, is something must be there at the back of the mind of any leader or any organizer or any lecturer after 
the workshop finished, after the conference finishing, after the project ends. What's next? It has to be a part of every discussion of every project, of every future of any society. That's why I said in the fourth, innovative, uh, in, the, in, in, the innovative, in the innovation stage, we have diplomacy, then what's next? Here. If we want to go from innovation to the fifth phase, which is a renewal, we have to go, I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm, I'm from saying that, I'm not a prophet or messenger guided by God or have revelation on me. But that's why I kept it open here. From innovation to, re, to, to renewal, you have to keep the philosophy of what's next. Open, open, open. Come out of the closed box. Come out, come out, come out, come out of it. So in, uh, uh, what's next? What's next? And then renewal. When you renew your thoughts, you renew, you renew your decisions, you, 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 you renew and review your ideology, you'll be able to go here to say what is the, what is the time that we need to finish this and go to the second stage. So the, the philosophy of uh, what's next is extremely important. Then if you go to the sixth stage, actually, which is balancing or the balance, what do you mean balancing? We don't want to grow very fast to upset the rhythm of the uh, surrounding uh, uh, competitor or the regional power. Have to go slowly. If you manage to uh, drive by 200 miles a second, slow it down. Don't let your enemy uh, stop you, destroy you, destroy, uh, or uh, remove you from your leadership. So, Foundation stage, three, uh, uh, six years. And another, if we look about how long this building the community, till at least we go to the innovation, is three years, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. Say about 20 years if we reach it here. But if we want to go up, it will go up to 30 years and more. I had a discussion with some of my friends here when they saw this drawing. Of course, this will be surrounded by, this is the climate. See the climate? Realization, trust, awareness, connection, uh, social inter interaction, uh, preparedness, uh, uh, start, okay, accountability, and so on, so on, so on, so on. This actually has to be surrounding a part of the climate which you mentioned earlier. If we look at, uh, when, I, when, when, I, when, I, when, when some of my colleagues here in, in, in Britain saw this drawing, they told me, where is our, where is our organization? The organization was 35 years old. I told them it's here, in the second phase. They said, why? We have been, you should have been here, in the renewal or the balancing stage. I said, no. You managed to go through the first one with difficulty in the last 35 years. But you're still struggling in the second phase to decide about the ownership, the empowerment, and the leadership of the local community. So your collective mind is here. But your individual achievement from your offices could go to innovation, could go to renewal, could go to, but this is individual, not the collective mind. You might find some of your offices doing an excellent work. Some of the field uh, manager or the field director doing excellent work. But that does not mean that this is the collective mind of the organization. So let me finish by, by thanking you. If you can bring the first slide, please. No. We, no, before that, before that, before that. We endorse all the humanitarian principles, which we use mostly during conflict, but we need to go post-conflict. We need to build a community. Next, please. Next. Next. That's why you have to build. We have to build our community by putting new principles, which is not new, it's very well known, but to organize it, then to protect them. Okay? Next, please. Next. Protection, protection, protection. These are the protection. No, the, the one before that. Layers, the seven layers, the seven walls and the seven climate. Next. These are the layers. These are the walls. These are the climate. To have your structured community, safe community, and a very well-driven community. 
And I would like to thank you very much uh, for being with us today. And may Allah bless you and we'll see you soon before Christmas, inshallah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.